you know what the most loving day to an employee or someone who is actually working somewhere is the payday i mean that's the day that most of the people tend to be the happiest of all the time and by the way before you become happy today i'm gonna share with you five things that you're supposed to avoid at all the cost immediately when you get paid remember one thing some of the decisions that are made immediately, we usually say within an hour after payment, is usually some of the decisions that actually lends you into a problem and actually you complaining in the 15th day of the month, you're like, hey, I don't know what I can even do. You're even contemplating on getting an advance of your salary. Okay, let's get into the business. But don't forget this. I usually post a video each and every time talking about investment and management and all everything. So if you don't want to miss any of my good videos, make sure that down below there there is a small button written subscription. Hit that magical button and also like this video. That's the favor that I would love from you. All right, let's get into the business now. These are the five things that you're supposed to avoid immediately after you get paid so that you don't get yourself into cash crunch. Number one, okay? Number one, it's always what we say, violation of your budget. Number one, never, never violate violate your budget okay never violate your budget what does it mean you see whenever you watch me maybe probably watch me two days before getting paid or maybe after some few days but now you always have that what you call the you know the pen and paper and you've written down all your budget how much goes for your rent how much goes for your debts how much goes for yours you know sort of subscriptions how much go for utilities and all those kind of things okay <clears throat> let's say you earn a specific amount of money the money you've already allocated on the paper and you say this is my budget that i'm gonna follow and this is exactly what i'm gonna tow on to because i'm looking forward into getting an x amount of money that is exactly what you're supposed to consider now going against that that is not only violating your money principles but also affecting your life not only financially but also socially remember one thing i always tell you guys some of the things that usually face in life in terms of the social life are contributed by the finance and if you cannot be able to portray the discipline that is needed and required on the finance even on the social life that's gonna affect you very much and i'm gonna stress a little bit on this point violating your budget is both it's like can you remember back when you were in high school and then you had that sort of a timetable and says hey today's reading English, that is the social sciences and whatever. And then because you're a fan of, uh, you know, doing the, the, the social science, then you violate reading the, the English and what have you. It's the same case applies. So the moment you get your money, you become excited. And I always tell you, whenever you get paid, what you're supposed to be is to be cool, calm, and collected. Don't feel the decision that you're about to make. Think about the decision that you're going about to make. Don't concentrate on the things that are actually satisfying to you. I've ever seen this kind of a guys who's immediately after they get paid they show up in supermarket the grocery store the convenience store and whatever the place by the time they show up back at home they have squandered some couple of thousands okay and you wonder like what exactly where did my money go and i usually advise people you know if you know probably you're gonna get your salary today <laughs> if you know you have a problem you'd rather work with somebody who is obviously a close person or if not the case then work with your budget at all the time so the moment you feel like you're gonna utilize your money or you're gonna consume your money get it your pocket produce the budget or maybe if it is in your phone check about the budget and you can be able to do something amazing and i always tell people like this hey if you you can be able to divide things into three categories the must have the good to have the nice to have and concentrate on the must have at least a little bit of uh, good to have and about the nice to have when you allocate everything into their location then at that particular point you can actually consider the nice to have because the nice to haves are the likes of getting yourself expensive coffees you know getting those outing load trips and all those kind of things so you're supposed to avoid them as much as you can as early as you can okay now let's go to the next point the next point or the point number two is actually called you know buying the immediate satisfying items you know a uh, satisfying item again remember what i said satisfying item satisfying when you when you listen or when i you know write that name satisfying simply means it's an emotional part it's an emotional part you see have you ever heard of these guys who are saying hey guess what we are on 20th day for example i'm taking case in example in kenya people are paid mostly at the end of the month okay now you find like people are saying hey guess what i'm so tired this month it's actually the tightest month ever you know immediately after getting my money i'm gonna enjoy myself i have to take myself out there i'm gonna grab myself that big mug of something you know because i want to make myself happy you know is the one i'm the one who works for this money and all those kind of things. people are so much emotional such that immediately after getting their money the immediate thing that they do is to go out there and do that thing that they've been looking forward into getting and that thing does not have any value addition to your life it's just a thing that satisfies you or offers you sort of a satisfaction at that particular point so you 
are supposed to understand hey avoid those things as much as you can otherwise they can lead you into violating your money and also squandering your money and you get money getting out there so satisfying that item or buying that thing that is actually satisfying you at that particular point focus first on buy things that are quite serious and then later you can do so for example maybe let's say some somebody did share with you a brochure of a road trip immediately after getting that money probably because you did promise them hey maybe they are co-workers they told you we are planning for a road trip and then they you know provided you with that brochure so immediately after getting the money you start calling them hey where do you want me to channel the money and all those kind of things immediately you've channeled the money because you number one you don't want to you know sort of you know feel outdated maybe you don't you know uh you know uh, you're not with people or something of sort okay it's called the fit in price you're supposed to be very careful so don't focus on that thing immediately when you get paid out there all right we go to the point number three the point number three is usually called unnecessary subscription. I've ever seen some people who, when they immediately they get paid, they usually get themselves into unnecessary subscriptions. Like, uh, for example, let's say uh, in your house, maybe you do not have Wi-Fi. You subscribe to Wi-Fi. You subscribe to some of the, uh, you know, cable TV, and you subscribe to some of the Netflix these things. You subscribe to some of the things that are not so quite necessary. Just because of that particular point, you are actually maybe some insurance policies that you are never even planning about. And it's like these guys who are selling the insurance policy is usually no uh, you know when you guys you're about to be paid they show up to your doorstep and they tell you hey before you squander that money would you mind to channel this money towards this area or maybe if someone is not selling you an idea of investment i always say if you can spend your money on investment amazing i would love to be your friend in terms of if you're a spender on that category but if you're suspending you're spending your money on the basis of enjoying yourself and all those kind of things that is the worst friend i would ever have to have at close at, at a close range so one thing that you're supposed to know is this avoid getting yourself into unnecessary subscription if you're looking forward into having a subscription again ask yourself what problems can it solve from you and uh, what are the things what how much does it cost and when you're gonna plan to do exactly that how will, how will it gonna affect your budget so that you understand hey if i get myself into this subscription this is the amount of money that i'll be paying then it means it's gonna deduct my salary from this category to this category then it can affect one two three so if you can be able to justify that specific thing i have seen a lot of people getting to subscription that they cannot even afford to actually go ahead and and, and buying because this this subscription are quite like monthly sort of, of a thing okay so it is good not to get yourself into unnecessary subscription and i know the reason as to why people get into this is because maybe they have had their friends talking about it or maybe they have been having some friends out there or have been saying hey you know what this or that so be very very careful otherwise if you don't then you're gonna get yourself into lots of problems so avoid those unnecessary subscription when it comes to you getting your money or the salary immediately okay and the point number four the point number for is none other than you know ignoring your debts and allow me to spend a little bit of time in this category ignoring your debt i've ever seen some people uh you know ignoring your debt you got some loan somewhere that you ought to pay and you've decided hey guess what 20 percent of my debt usually goes to a uh, repayment of this loan because we have like Two types of debts there is this debt that usually get either from a bank or a circle whereby immediately after getting paid they usually cut their money immediately before the money reaches you okay and there is this other type of debts maybe from the loans apps and maybe from the shylocks and what have you you have to go and be disciplined enough to go get your money and take that money to them to actually repay or to repay that specific loan so there are people who do hey guess what I ain't gonna take that money to them. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore it this specific month and I'm gonna pay them next month. If you forget one thing, that debt is actually accrued, accruing other interest on top of it. So it's gonna be an expensive debt as you move forward if there is something that you can try as much as you can to be care of is about debts especially you can have a very healthy debt maybe you took this debt to you know sort of invest somewhere but again if you ignore it then you're transforming this debt to unhealthy one and if you get yourself into unhealthy debts that is the worst thing that you can ever get especially in this era that we are living in this uh, sort of 21st century 2023 and 2024 because it's quite tricky most of the inflation in most of the nations are actually going up meaning uh, most of the, the, the you know survival of the cost of living is actually skyrocketing and all those kind of things so be very careful when it comes to you ignoring your debts you're not supposed to ignore your debts if you have some debts that is due 
go ahead dedicate that money and also so that by the way you know what you know I, I, you know um you know uh, you know that person who has been led that is usually uh, uh, you know a prisoner of the one who has you know uh, loaned you the money did i am i making sense whoever gives you debt is actually sort of controls you so if you don't get yourself as fast out of the thing as fast as you can then you can get yourself into the problem but i said debt is not a bad thing if you utilize it carefully and in a keen way you can actually grow wealth using the debts don't ignore it i have seen some people even you know faking some funny things out there even hiding going to hidings and whatever and then it turns out to be bad to a point whereby they even get to auction from their properties that they have back at home that is the worst thing that you can ever get as far as your life is concerned and the last one but not the least is that making it known have you ever heard of these people say they making it or make it known what does it mean immediately after you get paid everybody has to know that you're getting paid either by your word of mouth or maybe by the actions of you whatever you're out there telling people you've been paid and everybody wherever you live you have to, everybody has to understand and know that you're being paid or you've been paid that your character changes your perception you become a little bit rude or something of sort that is the worst thing that you can ever do because hey you never know whom you are attracting out there it's like you're telling people hey guess what i already have the money you can guy guys come on board and do whatever you want to do no that's the worst thing that you can ever do so making it known is also the worst thing that you can ever do when it comes to your money and that's why i said at the beginning of this video the moment you get money remain cool calm and collected focus on the things that can actually you know grow you and not the things that can actually drag you in terms of the development so the thing is this here about um about uh, not knowing. You see, it's always good. You know, have you ever seen some guys who usually behave as if they do not have money, but they have it? That should be the best character that you can ever possess in your life. Whenever you get your money, just channel your money wherever it's supposed to be. So getting it known out there, maybe from your friends and maybe from your family members, you know, and, 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 and I've seen this kind of a problem. When people go back to their family members or when they're interacting with their brother and sister, they're trying to make it look as if, hey, they've made it in life, they're having it solved, and all those kind of things you're attracting even jealousy you're attracting people and you never know where a call will come from and people are trying to borrow from you and all those kind of things anyway and and it's not an issue if you have it you can actually help them but it's an issue if you're actually faking it to a point whereby even if they borrow you you do not have even the capacity to actually help them out all right so anyway guess guys that's the end of my video but don't forget this at all the occasion those are just but five things that you're supposed not to do or avoid them as much as you can immediately you get paid so that at least you can realize something in your pocket and also progress to the next level and guess what guys i'm open to your comments down below in this comment section tell me what you think and how exactly have you been doing it by the way have you ever done something that actually you regretted and up to date you've never gone back there and if you love this kind of videos tell me more on the comment section therefore i'll be able to know hey you want me to make more of this video and don't forget one thing i actually post a video each and every day so if you don't want to miss a video for, from me from me make sure that you subscribe and also hit that like button and I know some people usually ask me on the comment section, hey, Joseph, I can't see your number. How can I get in touch with you? Very simple. On the description of this specific video, down below there, if you click on more, you'll get my number there. You can shoot me a call. Let's talk about businesses. If you want to get my premium services at a personal level, I offer those services, obviously, as a, at a charge of which it's just a cup of coffee's price, okay? And don't forget one thing. I also have some booklets about investments. You can get a copy. goes for only 280 Kenyan shillings. For now, it's a goodbye and see you in the next one.